Why Nigerians should expect nothing from Tinubu's government? Atiku's camp says, Wow, this is uh, just like re emphasizing the obvious or reiterating the obvious. Because, frankly speaking, APC in the past eight years actually hasn't done anything tangible or meaningful to all Nigerians. And Tinubu has agreed to continue from where Buhari stopped. It means that he also obviously is not going to offer anything to Nigerians. Already, APC has been a symbol of disappointment to the whole Nigerians, and that is why people trooped out during this general election to vote different party in. But unfortunately, they used the power of incumbency and the and the machineries of government in their power, the power of uh, federal might that is at their disposal to rig the election to their favor. But obviously, no one is expecting anything tangible to come from another APC government for another eight years. No one talk about coming from Tinubu and Muslim Muslim ticket for that matter. And looking at the caliber of persons piloting the affairs of APC, you know that obviously no one should expect anything from APC. But let's see what PDP has to say, um, you know, to buttress their, their, their claims. The camp of the 2023 People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar has warned Nigerians ahead of the new administration. Atiku's spokesman Daniel Buwala said Nigerians should expect nothing from the incoming administration of the president elect Balatinubu. Buwala anchored this call on the premises that the All Progressive Congress APC manifesto was an excuse. Tweeting Buwala wrote, when you read their manifestos, the renewed hopelessness or renewed excuses against the backdrop of present realities of dwindling revenue, high inflation rate, etc. Believe me, there is nothing to expect from the next administration. Bwala also noted uh, that the pending election litigation would correct the mess caused by the Independent National Electoral Commission. The good thing there is a pending the good thing is there is a pending election litigation that will provide nigeria an opportunity to correct the mess caused by anek he said wow so he's actually anchoring what he said uh, on the manifesto of apc yeah actually they don't have anything to offer first of all we saw how the campaign started from september 2022 they didn't have anything to say. It was when uh, Peter Obi they said does not have strategy, does not have structure, was coming up with innovative ways of campaigning. They started copying it, starting from the one million man march to talking about the economy. They ended up telling him that uh, he doesn't ha he's quoting wrong statistics. That was what Tinubu said. Who statistics feed, you know? So, and for this administration to say they will continue from where Buhari stopped, it's another big blow because Buhari obviously didn't have anything for Nigerians. He didn't really do anything for Nigerians. He was busy uh, satisfying the members of his kitchen cabinet and the Daora connection and at the same time tripping abroad. Even as small as the medical center at Aso Rock for the presidency, he couldn't fix it and he couldn't attend medical care there. That is how bad it is. A, a president that cannot fix medical care in his own country goes abroad for medical treatment. What else do you think of such president? And exactly what Tinubu has started. It, it, like I said, it, Tinubu promised to continue from where Buhari stopped. And one of the things he Buhari did that is going to continue is taking medical trip abroad, which Tinubu has started already. Okay? So only God knows other things that he's going to do. Um... You know, all that thing that Buhari did that is going to continue. But I know that there are several things that this government failed on that this incoming administration of Tinubu will also fail on those things, obviously. It's, it, is, it is very, very appalling. So Daniel Buhari is warning Nigerians ahead of time here so that they don't get disappointed. Because actually, during when Buhari entered in 2015, the whole Nigerians had very high expectations, but... At around 2016, uh, we all started getting disappointed when we saw the direction the 
Buhari administration was going. Okay, and it's under this Buhari administration that Nigerians got the highest level of disappointment in governance like never before. So to avoid such heartbreak coming again, Buala is warning the whole Nigerians to get ready and brace up for further disappointment because this Tinubu administration obviously has nothing to offer Nigerians. And I see it clearly. It is a politics of sharing national cake among themselves, among the elites, among the political elites. That is really what is going to happen. And not just all the political elites, among the political cabals ruling at the presidential level. That is it. So it's going to be another era of sharing Nigerian resources to themselves. And then, and I'm sure this time around, going, the first thing they're going to do is to review the retirement benefit of every president and vice president. That, that just like they did for governors in various state. And these people are collecting now pension from governorship from their state and now going to also collect another allowance and pension from federal level, double dipping the Nigerian resources. Quite unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. I don't know how we can continue like this as a nation. Okay. Uh, so there are a few comments here. Somebody is saying, yes, so nothing except Wahala. And that is true. Eh? So that is true. Nothing to expect more than Wahala. Then prepare for it now. Now that you have known. Can you imagine? This is another uh, uh, Tirubu APC uh, uh, by God that's coming out here. Somebody say Wahala yellow yellow mark by can you imagine instead of you to pray for the peace for the country you are saying wahala and that wahala will be your portion for me to tonight can you imagine eh? quite unfortunate that they will still have a lot of by gods eh? you, should, you should have a lot of by gods that are supporting what is happening in the current administration but, you say, but expect good things from atiku abi nonsense can you imagine is going to be a cabal government, of course. Expected opposition talk, not be really as this is more than opposition talk. People are saying the truth. Somebody should go and form your own. Eh? Man to this date, God will shame all of you. That is it. When I never day tired, eh? APC is more better than PD, PDO. Okay, chop chop party. Can you imagine? Chop and chop party. So the truth here is Bola is saying. That obviously APC has nothing to offer, and uh, this current administration will also not have anything to offer Nigerians. People should brace up. I think a lot of Nigerians are already brazing up and already prepared for the worst that will come. And that people are japa, people are creating uh, alternative uh, uh, plan B for themselves. That is it. Creating plan B for themselves. Quite, uh, quite unfortunate. So. That is what the Nebula has given to us as Nigerians as advice and it's led for people to accept it or not.